is your Friday recap from Tier Wadapalooza from the Morning Chalk Up, powered by Reebok. The Elite Individuals closed out competition with two events today. First was Wipeout over on the Bayside Barge, Echo Bike, Beaded Double Unders, Swimming, and a sprint to the finish on the Assault Runner. On the women's side, Emily Rolfe led Heat 2 as the first woman into the water, but it was Grace Walton who pulled ahead for her first event win of the weekend. You know you're good at some things, but like you don't know what anyone else can do, so like obviously having the bike first and stuff. Uh, like I'm a swimmer, but we don't do dry land first, so you know that's going to make me a little bit more tired, but I think being able to stay calm and even when I'm tired I can still float and move well. I think that's a really good advantage. On the men's side, it was a battle for first place between James Sprague and Brent Fikowski, with Sprague able to edge out the veteran for the win. Brent Fikowski has been a huge guy I've looked up to my whole career. I watched him do the 2017 Run, Swim, Run, and I was competing my first year as a teenager. I really knew that moment, I was about a minute off of him. I said, hey, I want to beat this guy one day in a swim workout. I told him before this workout, I said, hey, I've been waiting for this moment for eight years. It almost slipped out of my hands, but, uh, somehow got him. He's a freak of an athlete, so I credit a lot of my success to his strategy, how he goes about workouts, how he composes himself. And in the final event of the night, we saw it all with El Circo. Kettlebell lunges, rope climbs, toes to bar, and handstand walking. The women kicked off Friday Night Lights with a strong finish from Danielle Brandon, but ultimately it was Emma Carey who finished on top of the podium. Moments like this just show me it's really not even about winning. Like, this is not the most satisfying thing I could have. Uh, like, I wasn't out there with the sole purpose to win like I have been in the past. I just, I want to know God more. I want to glorify God more. And it's a huge gift that the sport that I love so much is a platform for me to do that. And over on the men's side, it was a race to the end between Brent Fikowski and Ricky Garrard. Brent ultimately ended up taking the heat, but Ricky closed out the competition at the top of the leaderboard for the men, making his second Tier Wadapalooza win in a row. I mean, I had to turn this year around somehow. I was um, down in the dumps, what, eight, nine months ago. Really? In the surgery and the sling. Didn't think I'd even get back to this level. Maybe the injury was too much for, for coming back to compete at the high level in CrossFit. So I'm honestly just grateful to be back out here and competing at this level. And turned it around, rogue, down, un down under Dubai, now Miami. I mean, I'm tired as hell, but it's been a hell of a back end of the year, and I'm stoked uh, that I got to pull it off. Now, this weekend in Miami also marks the official launch of the Reebok Nano X4, Reebok's lightest and most breathable shoes yet. For more on those or to snag a pair for yourself, check out the link in the video description. Well, that closes out the competition for the individuals, but elite teams of three kick off tomorrow and we will have complete coverage on all of our channels. Be sure to keep up on YouTube, on Instagram, and on themorningchalkup.com.